from the day we arrive on this planet and thinking we step into the sun there's more to be seen than can ever be seen more to do than can ever be done it's stuck alive yeah i think that's enough for now elton john eat your heart out Hey everyone! So The Lion King was, without a doubt, absolutely phenomenal. It was way better than anything I could have possibly imagined. In fact, it was open boy, open boy. Oh, there's nothing like a good old Lion King pun. We went to this restaurant before uh, called Joe Allen's, uh, just literally across from the um, from the Lyceum Theatre. Is it Lyceum or Lyceum? I'm so terrible with pronunciations. But yeah, it's just across from the stage door, so it's perfect for actors to just go and have a drink after the show. Perfect opportunity just to chill out after pretending to be a lion or a, or a meerkat or a, or a warthog for a couple of hours on stage. Imagine that being your job, pretending to be a lion for a couple of hours every night. That just sounds so awesome. The outside of this restaurant was, it was like down the side of a little alley. And it wasn't that extensively decorated either, so we were a little bit uncertain before going in like, is this really going to be any good? But the menu looked amazing, so we decided to take a risk and went inside and it won us over straight away. Dazzling interior decor, fantastic food. If I lived in London, I'd go there all the time. I don't know how I could afford it. Sometimes it is hard to be a poor student. Well, wow. is me. After that we had The Lion King and it seriously just blew me away. Like I, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't really appreciate it until I was in there, just how amazing it was. It's one of the longest running shows in the West End actually, it's been going for 14 years now? Obviously though the cast has changed on, on several occasions. God, I imagine young Simba's old enough to play adult Simba now. It all fitted together so perfect, like the costumes, the harmonies, the acting, it all went together so well. I also liked how they changed uh, Rafiki's gender to female in the musical because there's not really um, a lead female hero in the original film. Don't get me wrong, Nala's an amazing character and her, her solo in the Shadowlands piece is fantastic, but she's always in the shadow of Simba, just in the same way that Sarabi's always in the shadow of Mufasa and later on Scar. Whereas Rafiki is hilarious and she's able to provide a source of wisdom for uh, Simba, pointing him in the right direction. The lions themselves were fantastic as well, but at the same time I always, I'm always, i always going to compare um, their performances to the original three. I absolutely adore James Earl Jones, Matthew Boderick and Jeremy Irons as the three male lions in the film. It's sort of, sort of like um, with Mary Poppins in a way because the overall musical, you are always comparing it to the original film. You know the story anyway, but you still go through with it. But at the same time, I think one of the greatest strengths of the production was that everyone knows the story, everyone adores it, and yet you still are majorly impressed when you go to watch it. It's such an incredible reworking of it. If you haven't seen it yet, what are you waiting for? Well, unless you're not in the UK that might hamper your chance of seeing it <laughs> in the West End anyway. But seriously, if you're a fan of the movie, and who isn't, then you'll love it. You'll have a great smile on your face from start to finish, and you'll probably be restraining yourself as well from joining in with the harmonies. Or is that just me? Probably just me. But it also just made me really want to be a lion. I reckon I could be a pretty convincing full-time feline. Boosh! Simba, I am your father. I'm surrounded by idiots. Imagine me out there stalking the savannah, or well, in this case, garden. I could roar like a ferocious beast. I just look ridiculous doing that. Lions are just awesome though, aren't they? Back in 2010, I had a month in the summer touring Southern Africa and I was in Zambia and I actually got to go to this lion encounter thing on National Park and I got to stroke a lion. Seriously, the whole time I was just staring at them thinking, please don't turn around and eat me. But thankfully I survived and it was an awesome experience. So yeah, that's my advice from today's vlog. If you're ever in Africa, 
stroke a lion. But with caution, of course. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Actually, I've got a few plugs to make before I go. First of all, I was lucky enough to try indoor skydiving a few weeks ago. You can read all about that on my Tumblr blog, uh, Jack's My Hero. I'll put a link to that down below. Also, Fifth Shades of Grey's Mark went really well at the weekend. Did a little preview of the Green Man Festival in North Wales. It's happening this weekend. If you missed the show, you can hear it on my uh, Mixcloud page. I'll put a link to that down below as well. And there's past episodes there, so there's a whole lot for you to enjoy. The next edition of Fifty Shades of Grey's Mark will be this Sunday from 10 till midnight at uh, meridianfm.co.uk. And of course, Harry Potter Lego Years 5 7 has finally started. Go check that out. And finally, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. It's starting next week.